You know, it's a fabulous day. And of course, we're here to, in the dedication to honor an individual who was truly amazing as maintenance supervisor out here, Mike Padula, who worked here for 23 years and was not just a maintenance supervisor. He was a mentor to countless hundreds of students. And, and this really is all about students. That's one of the things I'm most proud of here. The facilities that we, that we built are for the betterment of our students. All the improvements on the main campus for the betterment of our students. And so we've got an infrastructure that supports students well. And of course, our academic programs are, are extremely strong, particularly in the department of Agriculture, so it's a great combination. Mike served as the university's uh, farm maintenance supervisor from 1989 until his untimely death in 2012. He was here a long time, he made a huge impact. For 23 years, Mike maintained the electrical, the plumbing, the carpentry, and the sewage treatment at the Derrick Agricultural Complex. And as I was seated here, I, I, was, I was thinking, I smell a little. Now, I hope that's, is that sewage or is that our cattle? Mike? <laughs> Maybe Mike play a joke on us. In addition to his daily responsibilities with all that technical stuff, which he did so well, he loved giving farm tours. Um, and, you know, the, the folks out here were looking around in preparation for this, and they found something that I want the family to have. It's a letter that was written by students in Mrs. Steele's first grade class Mapleton Elementary School, May 27th, 2010. And it's thank you for letting us uh, come to visit your farm. We love petting the horse and, and hunt, I don't know what the hunter is, uh, seeing the big bull, the pigs were cute but stinky. <laughs> Nico would like that. We had so much fun and love and the student signed it. That was sent to Uncle Mike because Mike was the tour leader that day. Isn't that great? He, you know, he was a man of faith. He was a man that lo loved life, loved his work and his co-workers. Example of, of the field trips that he gave and so forth. And, but I probably cherished the serious side the most because I knew I could go to him and talk to him and bounce ideas off of him. And he wouldn't tell me just what I wanted to hear. He would tell me what he felt was the best advice, regardless. And I always appreciated that. His compassion, his love for the kids, his generosity. If someone needed help, he helped them. You know, his strength was he led by example. There was no job that he wouldn't ask you to do that he wouldn't do first. And I can think of times and places we've been and, and working on things in ditches, in the hog house, in the pit, uh, stacking hay. If we, were, if we were belling hay, he didn't leave. He said, I ain't leaving while you all are in the field. And he stuck to us that way. His inspiration to us is just unimaginable just what he did for us and on an everyday basis his work ethic and, and what he meant to the farm and to the school uh, he uh, he taught us so much value in life that it's it we can't explain it all in five minutes and, and it uh, just the joy that he showed for work I mean if we I'm being honest and speaking of myself too if if we could all go to work with a happy and the attitude that he had every day, work would probably be fun for most people. When Mike passed away, several alumni and friends, community members, family members came together and made contributions to the MSU Foundation in his memory. And those donations prompted the establishment of the Mike Padula Memorial Scholarship Fund. So this special scholarship will support full-time students majoring in an agriculture program who live here at the farm in student housing as a part of the student worker program. So recipients will be folks who live here right where Mike spent his life. Um, it actually means so much. My parents are trying to put three kids in college. They got another one in high school who just had ACL surgery and we don't exactly have all the money in the world to be trying to pay for college and everything. So trying to figure out how I'm going to pay for it and do all that. The scholarship means 
absolutely the world to me. It takes a huge like weight off my shoulders to know, okay, that's that's my housing. I don't have to worry about that. Lundrigan Hall and Padula Hall, and naming them after those two gentlemen. Um, I work, you know, got to work with both of them. Eddie hired me here, and and Mike was one of my coworkers here, and just the value of the leadership from both of them, and, and that's what I, you know, I try to inspire into our students and to our employees as well. Looking for those traits when we hire a new employee, uh, things like that. I mean, it 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 truly is. Uh, getting the right people tugging the rope the same way all the time and, and the example that those two set for us um, was historic.